Welcome back to Upper Michigan today. We are talking about spring allergies, specifically how they impact our eyes. So we talked a little bit about what causes the irritation, the pollen in the air, the stuff getting in our eyes, in our contacts, yeah. on our eyelashes, um, and, and just what that might look like, the itching, the watery eyes. But um, there are a number of different things that we could do to really help uh, alleviate or maybe minimize. You know, you might not be able to get it away all completely, but uh, we have some information we want to put up on our screen. So let's take a look at the first one. So cold therapy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cold will stop that itchiness. So when your eyes are terribly itchy, something cold, cold washcloth or an ice pack will knock that itching right down. Okay, how long should you be, you know, having that on your eye? Just until you feel the relief for like five minutes? Yeah, probably a good five to ten minutes. It's okay. gonna start feeling better pretty quick, but at least a good five minutes to help calm that inflammation down. Sure, mm -hmm. I would imagine if your eyes are, sometimes they get red and swollen, mm -hmm. that would really help too. I, you know how people put like the cold spoons on their, mm -hmm. under their oh, eyes? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, do you ever do that? <laughs> No, but yeah, I have, uh, on occasion, I've taken an ice cube and, and just, just put, put it, it all over my face. Yeah. Not just specifically under the eyes, yeah. but yeah. It does feel good, yeah. just in general. Mm -hmm. I do yeah. that for like a, a pick-me-up, a wake-me-up. Sure, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, let's, let's take a look at the next uh, tip here. Wash your hands and face frequently. Yes, I mean, the pollens, everything, those mold spores, the things that we're going to be allergic to stick to our skin, stick to our bodies. So the more you can remove those, especially we all touch our faces more than we should. We yeah. all have our eyes when we shouldn't. Yeah. If you can keep that off of your hands, that would help. I am so guilty of rubbing my eyes all the time. <laughs> you and do I, rub your eyes a lot. I do, and I I often will do it when I have mascara on, and I totally forget that I'm wearing makeup, and the next thing I know, I look like a raccoon. <laughs> but. So if we're washing our hands a lot, I always have to, after I wash my hands, I have to put lotion on. Mm -hmm. Does lotion kind of bring those allergens, like give, give it something to stick to? Um, it might, depending on your lotion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But sometimes, I mean, if your hands get dry enough from washing, you mm -hmm. need the yeah. lotion, so. Well, then yeah. that's mm -hmm. the next problem. We're dealing with dry, cracked skin. Right, I know. Mm -hmm. Look at this. I know. Those winters are hard. We need, we need some moisture in our air. Okay, I think we have one more tip that we're going to go up on the screen with. Yep, clean your home often. Yes, a lot of people have that allergy to dust mites, so anything you do to keep your house clean, washing your bedding frequently in hot water, and if you've got a lot of allergies, using the dust covers for like your mattress, your pillows, can really help with those symptoms. And those really work, the, the dust cover, the they allergen do. covers. They do, yeah. yes. I always have them on my mm -hmm. pillows and stuff, but I always mm. wonder if it's just a gimmick. No, it, <laughs> it does help. <laughs> okay, okay, well that's good to know. And there are some uh, other tips that we don't have. Yeah, mm -hmm. to a, the, those seem kind of preventative, wash mm -hmm. your hands, and, but if you are experiencing symptoms, there's some ways to alleviate that. So starting with using eye drops. Absolutely, like I mentioned earlier, just a lubricating teardrop to rinse out pollens when you've been outside. Um, if that isn't enough, there are some really nice uh, over-the-counter allergy eye drops. You want to stay away from the ones that kind of say get the red out, those decongestants, because those will only be good for a couple days mm. and then won't be as effective. So, you know, a good over-the-counter teardrop or, excuse me, allergy drop can help minimize those symptoms. If that's not enough, definitely make an appointment with your eye doctor. There's some prescription medications we have as well. Okay, okay. And we talked about not touching or rubbing your eyes, no, Tia. I'm so guilty. Don't I'll do that. Now. Clean your contacts regularly. <laughs> yes, if you're using a reusable contact, making sure you're cleaning that lens properly when it comes out at night, rubbing each side of the lens, rinsing it before you store it. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And then what about just the use of contacts in general? Do you recommend people maybe take a break from their contacts, maybe use the daily contacts? You know, the, the dailies are a nice option because then it's a brand new clean lens every day. You don't have any buildup of pollen on it. But if it is enough symptoms, maybe foregoing the contacts for a couple weeks during the really bad times of allergy season would be helpful. Daily contacts are expensive too. They are. You gotta like weigh it out. Yes. But to not Do have it irritated. Do you want to spend a little more money? I spend the more money because I don't want irritated eyes. But no. my eyes still get irritated. <laughs> See, I'm not a contact wearer, and I feel That's like nice. I don't get necessarily get really irritated eyes in the springtime. But my eyes water so bad just with the wind. It, mm. How would I alleviate that? That actually may not be allergies. Mm -hmm. If you're not really itchy and it's just watery with wind, it's probably a type of dry eye. Um, there is a type of dry eye where it's not an issue with how, like, 
much tears you make. In fact, mm -hmm. you overproduce a tear. That's not the right consistency. So. Oh, there I, it goes. Yeah. I find mm -hmm. that to be so yeah. weird that I have because uh -huh. I, I think I've been told this before too from uh, my eye doctor. I. My eyes are overly dry, so they're then overly watering. Yes, you don't have enough of the one part of the oily part of your tear, so then your tears evaporate too quickly, like in a windy situation. And then as your eye gets dry, your brain goes, all right, let's make you some more, and you'll end up having that reflex tearing, so. Hmm. So would, mm -hmm. would eye drops alleviate that before stepping outside? Certain types of eye drops, not just outside, but on a regular mm -hmm. basis, and then warm compresses for that type of issue hmm. is beneficial. Very good to know, because I feel like, <laughs> for example, yesterday in my outdoor weather live shot, yeah. And this happens every time I'm outside yeah, in I have it tears does. streaming you down do. my face and you can see them glisten and I'm really not crying, but... <laughs> I love that we just took a fiver to get to the bottom of uh, Tia's uh, watery eyes. <laughs> I, I needed to know. It's supposed to know. And you know, there's a lot of people that that happens to. I feel like it it's does. fairly common. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah. And we're actually seeing more of that these days. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Because of eye strain, staring at the computers, <gasps> you, you think? You know, the last I saw, they think the screen use is some yeah. of it. Because we're also seeing it on younger people uh, instead of just older people. There mm -hmm. you go. Well, there you go. Screen use? Screen use. Put your phone down, Tia. I'm not. I got paper. I'm all right. Paper. All right. Have we got? Have we made it through all of the the big tips? I think we have. So, any other pieces that you want to really emphasize? No, I think we've covered them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we want to switch gears. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about contacts um, because it sounds like if you're a contact wearer, this is not your time of year, first of all. So mm -hmm. why would somebody even want to start wearing contacts? So we're going to talk a little bit more about that. We have to take a quick break, but we'll get into that when we come back.